back to Arcturian philosophy with Professor Andromeda, also known as me, Krista. Um, for those of you who are wondering, what was that with the phone and uh, like a gray and something happened with with that? What 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 happened? Uh, I wanted to describe what happened. It was uh, really interesting and. Um, apparently something that really went on because something weird is going on outside, so I don't know what's up. I, uh, this started off, I was in the bathtub, um, see, there's something in my tap water, so that when I try to bathe, um, okay, I'll just, st I'll just say this, um, publicly. I've been told that I'm uh, when I was at a healer. This wasn't just uh, like random telepath. Like I actually was at a healer, and I was told on the Ashtar command that uh, I was supposed to have a special hybrid child, and would I like to do that? And at first I kicked and screamed, and I said no. But um, then I finally came around and said, well, okay, if, if we meet these conditions for it. Um, and so they're kind of working on that at the moment. I'm thinking, oh my god, how would I have a child in this kind of um, circumstance? Uh, this says this, this world's a little too insane to have a child here and here. Um, what? Uh, but uh, so the way all this started off, um, I went to healer. And I'd been told these different things, um, and it was after that that when I started trying to tell people about it, whenever I would tell people about it, it was it would be like they would they would be nice to me and then pounce on me, like uh, pretend to be my friend and then just like. When I would when I would be, be persistent, they would just immediately attempt to shut me down somehow, and I I know that I'm supposed to have this child. The the painting that I did, that's in the last video, that that's actually what the painting um, is supposed to be of of kind of like the concept of a divine conception in a way. Um, when I was in prison, a lot of parallels. They, they would call me Mary in there because of this. Um, they would do that to taunt me, but I would just think, okay, well, whatever. Um, I don't know what's, you know, supposed to be happening here. Um, but apparently I've been told this is, this is an option. Um, and, uh, so... Well, after all of um, all of that, um, and I was activated, which is done, rem remember, pretty much by the greys, mostly now, um, Uh, sorry, they're, they're people in here trying to kind of mess with me astrally. Uh, I, I call it a thought intercept. Uh, anybody who's had reptilian programming will be familiar with this, where it feels like your mind is blank, and you just don't know what you're saying. Um, so, what I was talking about, uh, what I was supposed to be talking about was how I talked with this little gray guy... I was in the shower, um, and, um, I had to try and shower quickly because there's something strange in the tap water that I'll react to, actually, on my skin now, uh, if it hits me, and so that's, that's pretty problematic now because I'm about to run out of clean water. If anyone would like to volunteer a water filter, that would be awesome, um, so, after 
um, after this uh, in the water somehow, something to do with being in contact with the water, I began to have an astral experience and there was this gray there um, observing me because I was I was just so fascinating to them that that they just couldn't kill me um, pretty much that they could they could put weird marks on me or do stuff to me but they just couldn't kill me um, I was I was just like fascinating and I don't remember what we said it was it was one of the weird dreamlike state type things I don't remember exactly what we were talking about um, but uh, what I remember so strongly is I just said, look here, and I put my hand out, and a white, bluish light came out of it, and it glowed, and I aimed it at its chest, and it was like I was just saying, let there be light, see, it's not supposed to be this way, no, um, and then it suddenly got this happy expression um, and started to jump up and down almost and um, it was like it was happy for the first time in its whole life which was really confusing because it was like they were one mind that was existing in different bodies as clones so it it it, its perspective was being given to the whole at the same time. It, it said, you know, oh, I've got to tell, I must tell the others. Um, and uh, I suddenly got had this feeling, uh oh, this guy, I think he's kind of a fugitive now. And he stopped and he said, my name is... But then he, he wouldn't say it because uh, they rely on a lot of I guess what you could call the dark arts. It is actually called dark arts, okay? So, um, Star Wars is real now, seriously. Um, it's pretty funny, I think. Um, if you're really into the, the cutting-edge stuff, which, which is, yeah, really fun. Um, so... I became friends with this little guy, and I just call him this little guy because I don't know his name, and he won't say because he's too scared to, or just doesn't want to. I don't know. He doesn't really, doesn't really let on. Um, not very emotional, but very kind of happy and childish. Um, and he asked me, "Why is it blue?" In you know their kind of weird tinny voice, and. Um, I thought, wait, you're asking me why is why is your heart chakra blue? And I thought, wait, but it's green. And I thought, well, the first thing that I was thinking of was just a blue light coming out of my hand, and that was what happened. Um, and I said to him, do, do you want to make it a different color? Um, and here's one thing that's interesting about the grays. If you think about mixing all colors you make gray and a lot of music um, I've heard music about colors mixing together to make gray um, it seems like grays actually have an aura that's all colors but they somehow just got it confused fractured insect like um, and their third eye became so large it, I, what I was what I said to the little guy was um, you, do you understand now you think so much that you forgot that you're dying. Um, and I actually personally know what this is like. Um, I, I, I do. I personally know what this is like. You sit there and, and you're like this lone philosopher just sitting there thinking forever that you just die off. It, I, I completely understand. It, and I tried to express that. To him that I that I understood what that was like, but that that we the Arcturians had realized um, we we had a similar you know similar appearance appearance astrally so it was kind of um, I was taller you know but um, it was it was kind of easier to relate 
um, in the, in the telepathy, um, with, uh, with some of it, and one thing that I won't forget is I led him in to something that looked like a banquet, and he had trouble understanding a banquet, and I said, oh, it's just, you know, a human concept, I'm just making you this as I would see it, I suppose, something that's an honor for you, and, um, he actually made a gesture with the, you know, they have very long, um, arms, and, uh, and he was trying to express surprise, and I actually laughed, and I said, oh, no, 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 um, it, you don't have to do that with me, I understand what you mean, um, e even though, uh, personally, I think my telepathy sucks, but, um, it's getting better, as long as I stay alive, I mean, uh, assuming I stay alive, yeah, right, uh, you know, or whatever, um, <laughs> for whoever is watching this, <laughs> um, so, I, I looked, I told him, look around, and everybody, including himself, had a crown on, like, a, like royalty, now, when we're thinking about our past lives, we think about, I was king so-and-so, I was this, I was that, I was Friedrich Nietzsche, yay, yeah, I was, um, stuff like that, or I was whoever the heck, um, maybe that's really awesome, that's, that's cool, whatever, yeah, um, but the point is, all of us that are here on the planet right now, are here on the planet because we have hardware that is equipped for this change. If we weren't, if we want to think about it in a kind of hard and fast way, if we weren't our, all of a royal bloodline, we wouldn't be here for this change right now. We wouldn't be souls that could do it. We wouldn't be old souls that could manage to handle it. So, think about it that way. There is no somebody, you know, one person's better than another person with this. Um, I look at the younger people right now, the teenagers, and I think, wow, oh my gosh, you guys can do so much stuff, this is crazy. Um, if I move something, I have no idea that I did it, and I get told that I broke a statue or something. Um, didn't know I did that. Um... Apparently, I don't really do that very often, though, so it's like, people think, oh, yeah, we can just mess around with her. Uh, so, yeah, that's a very fun new experience. So, uh, I'm going to do what Cryon's saying right now. Cryon's saying, don't think about that, Krista. They want you to think about that. Think about, um, think about something fun. So, something fun. Something fun was leading the little gray guy through this banquet hall and showing him that everyone was royal and he had this preoccupation with domination um there's this rap that this guy who uh, kind of stole my phone um uh was listening to and i could hear stuff i was born with too i was born with this but i it was more reptilian even though some there's something up with my father that is like a mastermind type thing that's similar to Grey's, and I don't know what the heck it is, um, but it's just, it's weird, um, and, uh, I was listening to it, and I thought, wait, I recognize this, and it was a psychopathic mindset, and I was healed of that last November 5th, so I know what it's like to come from genetics that predispose you to think like a nutcase. I I thought like a freaking nutcase. Um, and I had to transcend those genetics. It felt like my higher self was healing me at the time when that occurred, but I believe I was being healed by my extraterrestrial um, counterparts. Um, because I actually heard tinny sounding voices, um, telling me what to do, um, uh, like, to sit up, cough, I was bedridden at the time, I was, I was very, very sick, and, um, 
Uh, also, regarding um, things that I need with all of what is going on, um, I'm being drained of financial resources. So, anyone who can give me rides or anyone who would like to donate regarding um, this teaching or help me out with my domain name um, infinite light love dot org because um, this is one of the secrets that I learned from Cryon that the source of the universe is not love singularly um, he would t always talk about this push-pull dynamic, but he wouldn't say what it was. And I would think, what is it? And he finally told me when I was in prison, it's light, and that's what you're doing when you're making this, this vortex. It's a push-pull. It's a polarity, like magnets. He loves his magnets. That I don't I don't understand any of it, but um, he would tell me, think of it, think of light, love, light, love, that's, that's a push-pull dynamic that you need both in order for prosperity to occur and that um, to all the light workers um, you can be encouraged because uh, with cryon um, you really you really can trust him um, and he states that no matter what everything is biased towards the light right now and it's gonna stay that way um, things are going to look difficult, they're going to look kind of awful, nutsoid, crazy, and it's going to seem nuts, but we will survive through it. We are making it. And I think that will conclude this, um, interesting documentary of what exactly I have been going through and I'm going to contemplate next what exactly I'm going to follow in my bliss so my phone is gone and I have this old cell phone that I can't make calls on I have no cell phone numbers and um, I can't go to my parents house because I have a restraining order because I went there to ask them for my stuff and they said no and called the pol police um, weird um, and then it was a SWAT team, and the SWAT team was doing weird stuff, trying to break my bones with mirror magic type satanic stuff. Um, yeah, um, if you've had, yeah, weird stuff happen, it's okay. It's, this is the age of weird stuff. So, tell your weird stuff story. I actually um, can't wait to hear what a lot of you have to say. Um, I think with uh, some of the teachers, I guess I'm just not going to have to listen to them right now because right now I have to listen to my inner voice and... If I'm being targeted by teachers, well, I guess that's what's going on with their spirit at the moment. And if I'm led back to them, I'll be led back to them. Um, but still, everything is light and love. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Remember, it's both. And also, uh, Cryon says, um, for everyone interested in, in his stuff, um, numerology. Numerology will help everyone during these times, um, with, uh, the Bible, with different things, and synchronicity. Look for synchronicity in your life, and don't be discouraged. Um, so that concludes this, um, little episode of Arcturian philosophy. I'll see you next time. Blessings. Namaste.